Good morning and welcome back to an absolutely beautiful Calic Chase. Um, the prediction for this morning was fog. I wouldn't say we've got fog as such, but what we do have is some very slight but beautiful soft uh, atmosphere in the air. Just a touch of little pockets of, um, of mist and it's just really softening things down. Um, so I've come to my, my favourite area of Canet Chase, which is Brockton Coppice. Been here a few times. <laughs> um, I haven't really got any plans this morning. I mean, if it was proper thick fog, I know I've got a couple of shots that I really wanted to try and get today, but I don't think it's quite foggy enough for that. I'm going to head down that way anyway and just see what I can find. But, um, wow. It's a beautiful, calm, still morning. Not a breath of wind in the air. Um, so, yeah, come along with me. Let's see what we find. Comes this really popular scene in Brockton Coppice of these beautiful twisted oak trees. Um, they kind of all look like they're dancing together. <laughs> um, it's a very popular scene, it's been shot by many photographers, so it's not nothing original, but um, it's not going to work today. I think it does need that level of fog just to separate the elements a bit. Um, but uh, wow, it's a beautiful scene. I'm going to take a record shot of it. I lit it and see how it comes out, but I'm not expecting great things. Um, but it's one I definitely am going to return to when the conditions are just perfect. Um, the issue, one of the issues I've got as well is, is the amount of sky I've got in the photo. Uh, yeah, I just find that a bit distracting to be honest with you, but um, I don't know, I'll get it in post and I'll see I might actually like it. But I do definitely think it needs a touch of fog just to, just to soften it a bit really. So I'll put it on screen anyway, let me know what you think in the comments, but uh, the uh, the atmosphere we had earlier just seemed to be lifting a bit, to be honest with you. So let's see what happens with the weather. All right, if I'm honest with you, I'm struggling this morning, but I have just come across this scene here, talking quietly because I think there's some other photographers over there. They don't want to hear me mouthing off. Um, <laughs> but I've come across uh, this, these set of uh, silver birch here. I've got this one here on the left-hand side, which is kind of shaped like a V, um, and then one to the right-hand side as well. But you're just getting some lovely side light from the sun just coming in. And then right in the distance, there's a couple of silver birch right at the bottom of the hill. Um, it's quite a nice scene. I have put a polarizer on just to take some sheen off these um, these bracken. But uh, yeah, it's quite nice. You're just getting a touch of autumn uh, in the colors. So if it's any good, I'll pop it on the screen. Um, but as I say, yeah, I'm struggling a bit. The, the atmosphere that we had earlier is completely gone. Um, and we're getting little pockets of like bright, bright sunlight. So yeah. Uh, Anyway, let's see what else we can get.
I think I'm going to call it. It's 11 o'clock, we've got big bright blue skies, really quite harsh lighting now. Um, but never mind, had a good morning. I know I've only got a couple of images, one which is a record shot uh, and one which I just took, which I think I might quite like once I get it into post. Um, the two photographers I was <laughs> talking about and met back there uh, are Mark Robbins and uh, a gentleman called Demi. Um, both fantastic woodland photographers. Um, I'll put a link to their Instagrams um, and Mark's YouTube channel actually, which he's just started uh, in the description below. I highly suggest you go and check them out. But as I say, a bit of a short video today, um, but uh, yeah, still, I've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed it too. So I'm gonna call it there. Um, as I say, I hope you've enjoyed watching and I'll see you soon. <laughs>